What's up, guys? This is Dumper Customs. I know I uploaded this a little early because in the last video, the description said, due to technical difficulties, I will upload this on Monday and stuff. Uh, this video ended up uploading on Saturday, which is today, because I could not wait to show you guys these things. So, we'll start off with Fordo that I was telling you about yesterday on the last uh, on the last update. He's got the sash, the shoulder pauldrons, some scars on the head. Gave him some better head decals. Kind of wanted to make him look kind of cartoony because he came off of a cartoon, so. Yeah, but he turned out pretty nice. Give him shoulder pads and knee pads. I like how he turned out. He looked he looked pretty good when I was finished with him. So that's all I have to say about him. But as you can see in the background, I've got a like in the background and these guys here. I've got like a whole bunch of World War One and World War Two stuff. So I will start off with my American Navy guy. He's got the eagle badge thing. Don't know what kind of badge that would be, but I just made it. Buttons, neckerchief. He's got all sorts of badges there, like purple, red, and blue badges. Uh, the cap for the police from Lego City. I tried to make like an emblem on the cap or something. Ugh, just could not get it done. I couldn't draw small enough. But yeah, here we. So that's him. Now I'm gonna show you my World War II German infantry soldier. Traded back my MP40 with my friend. Because I had already traded it for something. But then I traded it back. It took us forever to find it. We had to pour out his Lego box and like sift through it. He lost it, so we eventually found it. Stallhelm, custom decals, which are pretty nice if I do say so myself. It's got the clips, pockets, collar, shoulder straps. It's got uh, this stick grenade. I think I messed up the, the suspenders on the back, though. Doesn't matter, still looks pretty cool. So yeah, that's him. Here is my Waffen soldier. My Waffen Sumptarn uh, Octarn. I don't know. It's something. It's like a German word. I got this idea off of one of JS LEGO Master's videos. It's called uh, LEGO World War II Uniforms and Equipment. So this guy was on it. Got the SS symbol on the back, on the side of his helmet. He's got red dot camouflage, black and dot camouflage de de decals. He's got a belt if you can barely see it. Pockets, the collar. He's got suspenders if you can just barely see them. Didn't do any decals on the back. I don't know why. He's got black pants, which turned out nice for him. I traded my Strug Vermer for Brick Arms for something else. And uh, my friend will not trade it back, so I was pretty ticked off at him. So, there's that guy. We will now move on. To my custom false germ jogger, German paratrooper. Couldn't find any good gun for him, so I just gave him one of those old rifles. Old looking rifles. Collar, pockets, these. This guy's pretty old minifigure. I built him just like, well, not old. He's like decently new, but I built him like a week ago before the last 
the after the last uh the last update. It's not even a week ago, that's like four days ago. Never mind. Customized a helmet. Got one of those black hats, put some dot camo on it. So it turned out pretty nice. He's got dark tan pants. Mustache. So he turned out pretty good. Before I move on to my Americans, I will show you some of my field artillery pieces. Well, this is the only field artillery piece I have. This is a World War One field artillery gun. It's got the old spoked wheels. Loading mechanism. Like gears. Click things. I don't know. Compasses. Big long barrel. It's got the wooden bar underneath so it keeps it steady and stuff. I watched um, J the story of Sergeant Winterbottom part 3 by J.S. Lego Master so that made me want to build this because I loved his uh, I, I absolutely loved his British field guns. They look great so I wouldn't build this. So now I've got my German Flak 88. Here's the ammo. Nothing much. I'll try to get you a better view of it. It's got the scope right there. The gun can go down to like right here. It's a big long gun. It's got these two little peg things. It's got the front shields, these stabilizer legs. I don't think those turned out very well, unless you do. Loading mechanism. Uh, I like that view, it's cool. You can go up again. So that's my flak. I will try to make instructions for it in the next update if you really want to know how to build it. Possibly this one too. And now we will move on to my Americans. This guy is holding all my custom ah, custom World War II weapons. Browning machine gun. Try to get some instructions in the next, next update for this. It's pretty easy to build. You might be able to just build it by looking at it. Grease gun, you don't need instructions for this, just go get it off of Brick Arms, I just wanted to build one. I don't have one off of Brick Arms, but I just wanted to build one, so, uh, yeah, you just, like, clip or sand off the butt and the scope, take the clip wrench thing, and then just stick it on. So, that's my custom weapons. And here, last but absolutely not least, are my two airborne troopers. As you can see, the decals on the torso are ah, slightly different. This guy's 101st, this guy's 7th. There's the 7th patch. There's 101st. There's not much difference, but there's a little bit. That one actually has brown on the head instead of a bald eagle, so. Yep. They both got a United States of America flag patches. The green Toy Story Army hats. This guy didn't. I couldn't find a backpack for this guy, so, uh. I just left the decals on the back that came originally with the body. Gave this guy a backpack. So. Those are them. Those guys turned out nice. And this house in the background that you've been staring at for a little while, I guess. It's supposed to be a damaged French house for a mini mock I'm going to be building. It's got the roof, the damaged roof, the door. 
absolutely nothing inside it. I haven't finished it. There's only gonna be one house in the mini mock, but I guess that's why it's a mini mock. So, once again, this is Thumper Customs. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and I will see you later on Saturday or Monday. See ya.